Sim rig season four, 2014. Just an overview. It's a brand new cockpit. Switched out the Obato. Built a custom 8020 rig. Um, the monitor mounts are from Fast Track Sims. Coming down here, you have the pedals. These are by Emery Edmonds. They're uh, Tilton Gen 3 uh, hydraulic pedals. Um, let me see what else here. Uh, I really enjoy this new cockpit over the Obato just for the simple fact that the height is correct. The seat sits lower compared to the pedals. So it gives you kind of that proper race car position. Very sturdy. Coming over to the cockpit. Unfortunately it is like a race car where it's hard as hell to get in and out of. Now we're in the cockpit. Uh, the steering wheel right here is a Momo Mod 30. The plate is by Sam Maxwell. It's a custom plate. Paddle shifters, all that. Motec screen is by uh, Z1. Let's see. What else we got here? So, uh, the wheel is a T500. Shifter, Derek Spears, bent rod. Derek Spears, Black Max 2 for the button box. Three screens are BenQ XL2720Ts. They're not the G-Sync ones. I bought these a year ago before the G-Sync one come out. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, this, these functionalities, this is my push to talk. This is my telemetry. This controls my MoTeC. Um, not using this one. This is for the brake bias. Start all that relative. Different boxes. Uh, radio, channel, spot, all that. Um, that's pretty much it for the sim rig kind of downsized a lot uh, for GT cars there's not a lot of special stuff for it so uh, it's pretty cool this right here I'm using the uh, light boost hack so it, it actually cuts down on the um, response time a lot so there's no motion blur so that's pretty cool uh, future upgrades AccuForce wheel um, probably the button box by sim racing hardware and uh, I would eventually like to replace these screens but I only got them a year ago to a g-sync monitor but that's that's gonna be a ways away here um, and then probably gonna want to replace the seat I'd like it like a Sparco fix back I just don't really like the seat it's leather I'd really have cloth Coming over to the computer and what's powering it. Uh, half X case. Uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, Mushkin RAM. Intel 27 or uh, 2500K for the processor. Got a Corsair H100, uh, I believe. Um, cooling it. I have uh, Corsair. HX 850 power supply. It's modular or semi modular, however you want to call it. Uh, for my sound card, it's a <coughs> Creative Fatality XFI. Uh, graphics card is a 780 GTX. I'm doing the EVGA step up to a 980 GTX, but I don't know if I'm still going to do it because. NVIDIA broke the drivers to make light boost work with new cards and new drivers so I don't know hopefully they get that fixed because I would like to just do the minor upgrade but it's kind of for free basically because I bought this like a month ago before the cards came out hard drives um, I have a Samsung 840 as my main drive Sam or a uh, K 
caviar black two terabyte for my storage and then for my iRacing drive I have a crucial C300 right now in there because my Intel I just got my Intel back in and my Intel ended up crapping out on me so I have to replace my Intel or put my Intel back in that's pretty much it I really like the new cockpit um, especially like I said because of the the seating position it gives you um, I had CST pedals that hung down prior and it worked fine with the Obato but when I got these um, the problem was because they came through the floor they needed a more straight on press instead of a downward press so I'm kinda getting that I still don't know if I like it. I might raise the pedals up a little bit more I'm not a hundred percent sure but everything's solid right now so everything's Everything, like I said, is working really well. I just like to replace those couple things. The steering wheel, the AccuForce, um, the seat, and probably the monitors and the button box at some point. Um, definitely next year we'll go with the AccuForce and then we'll see what happens with the, with the seat and the button box say the AccuForce and the seat are the two big priorities because the button box while it looks great it's like three four hundred dollar button box and I just it's kind of like a, a want not a need and then of course the monitors so that's pretty much it thanks for watching